From the newsroom at news.com.au. Hey, I'm Lexi Cartwright. And I'm Andrew Bucklow. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday the 20th of April. Millions of Aussies could be vaccinated for COVID-19 sooner than originally planned as the nation's leaders consider bringing forward the vaccine timetable. National Cabinet met yesterday to discuss resetting the national rollout. One of the items state and territory leaders agreed to in principle was bringing forward the AstraZeneca vaccine for those aged 50 and over. The proposed changes are to be discussed at the next National Cabinet meeting on Thursday. Two other news food producers across the country have been dealt a crippling blow after Australia Post revealed it would no longer deliver perishables from July. Australia Post has blamed complex requirements that differ between states for the decision. The move is set to have a devastating impact on farmers and producers in rural areas where alternative careers are either expensive or not available. To the US now and the prosecution and defence are offering their closing arguments in the trial of former police officer Derek Chauvin who's accused of murdering George Floyd. Mr Floyd died in Minneapolis last year after a run-in with police. Now, Mr Chauvin was filmed kneeling on his neck and back for 9 minutes and 29 seconds, a position he maintained despite Mr Floyd's pleas that he couldn't breathe. The former officer has been charged with three offences, the most serious of which carries a maximum sentence of 40 years in prison. He is one of the prosecutors. You heard about their relationship, how he would always take time, special attention to be with his mother, how he would still cuddle with her in the fetal position. You heard that. Alrighty, Channel 7 has announced which celebrities will appear on the second season of SAS Australia. Those on board include Chef Manu Fidel, tennis star Mark Philippoussis, singer Pete Murray and socialite Bryn Edelston. Former NRL star Sam Burgess is also on the show. Now, he made headlines for all the wrong reasons yesterday. He's been hit with a fresh drug driving charge after being pulled over by police in February. Secondary saliva test results allegedly came back with a positive result for cocaine. Channel 7 won't be loving that. And finally, in royal news and Prince Harry may extend his stay in the UK so he can be with the Queen on her 95th birthday tomorrow. He was expected to return to LA right after Prince Philip's funeral, but is still in London. It's been reported Harry had two hours of peace talks with Prince William and Prince Charles after the funeral. And just a reminder, if you want $1,000, just play our daily news quiz at news.com.au forward slash quiz and that cash could be yours. That's it from the newsroom. We'll be back in the afternoon. Your update from news.com.au. 